You know what, Karina? I think uh, Karina Kai. <laughs> you miss Karina that much. Hey. <laughs> You know what, Kai? I think I know what I'm going to have for my iftar, and that is gado gado. Oh, yes. Yes, gado gado with like vegetables with the little, you know, protein from the nuts and whatnot. Yes, I'm so Easy ready. on the cabbage if you have grit. Oh, yeah. All right, <laughs> thank you for telling me that. So it's still 8 o'clock, guys. I still have nine <laughs> hours to go. Anyways, consuming nutrient-rich foods during Ramadan is very essential, yet many fail to achieve it as many people focus on satisfying their appetite, nothing wrong in that, but again, we want to be more healthier rather than fulfilling other nutritional needs. Yeah. So, what are the best foods to eat during Ramadan? Let, uh, let us ask a physician uh, nutrition specialist, Dr. Jualita Surapsari, who is with us right now. Hi, doctor. Good morning. Good morning, doc. Hi, good morning. Mm -hmm. You're looking fresh and dapper, and I think <laughs> yeah. you're the per perfect person to tell us how does Ramadan fasting affect the balance of our body, the nutrients? Hmm. So actually, the uh, nutritional re uh, requirement for our body during Ramadan fasting and the other days are not quite different. The differences are uh, about the schedule of the meal that we get to take. Yeah. And also mm. sometimes uh, we also experience uh, the changes in our activity. Mm. Uh, in the day and also uh, how we uh, maintain our hydration. So the challenges uh, in fulfilling our nutrition requirements is because we need to put uh, all of the nutrients only in the two big meals. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So sometimes we need uh, to fulfill all of the nutrition requirements only to those two big meals. Yeah, because of that gap of about 13 hours for yep. you to fast. So you have your sur, and then you have your iftar. Now, Doc, what is the best food to start with then? You know, starting, let's start with sur. Um, because it's early in the morning. Yeah. For people like me, I cannot eat any carbs. I mean, oh, not like right. rice, but I'll do a little mm. bit of bread, you know, or, yep. you know, some mm. oatmeal, mm -hmm. but not literally like rice, rice. It's just, I cannot, I just cannot chew it in the morning. <laughs> But do you think that's important, especially when we're doing uh, fasting? And what is the best food or nutrition that we can do when we're, um, you know, iftar or break fasting? Because we know kurma, I think that's one of the best because it's sweet and whatnot. Uh, but from your yeah. take, doctor, what should we do? From sour and then iftar too. Okay, first of all, for sure, don't worry if you cannot eat rice. Thank you, doc. carbohydrates, not only rice. <laughs> Right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So uh, the main principle of uh, having a good meal in store mm -hmm. is having first the complex carbohydrates. Okay. If you think that uh, you can have an oatmeal uh, in the morning, mm -hmm. it's a very good option. All right. So yeah, I think, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Because uh, oatmeal is a complex carbohydrate. Mm -hmm. So when we're choosing the complex carbohydrate, which has uh, more fiber than simple carbs. Mm. So of course, our body will have uh, a feeling of uh, more sustained energy. Okay. Because it will really hold in a steady manner, yeah. not uh, having very fluctuating way right. uh, of the blood. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just that for sure. Just one question: What about dates and peanut butter? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. You went to I love fast. dates and peanuts butter, especially in the morning. <laughs> I, I I heard it's the fiber and some protein as well. Is that true? Okay. So, uh, it's true. Actually, this uh, is very uh, good uh, if we take it in sour or in the iftar. Mm -hmm. Both are good. Because in the sour, if you eat dates, you, don't, you do not only take in the sugar but also the fiber mm -hmm. and also the minerals because uh, this is very high in potassium. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so potassium will also help you to maintain your blood because you have a in the day. Mm. Oh, so that's, yeah. yeah, all right. And then, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then when you are breaking your fast uh, at this time, it is also uh, superior because it has a natural sugar. Which can increase your blood glucose level, but not too much. So it's very safe for you. That's good to know, Doc. Mm -hmm. Now for the iftar yeah. menu, what should we open with, especially after that 13 hours period of fasting, Doc? Okay. So after 15 hours fasting, the good thing is our body is breaking down the fat. Mm -hmm. So, officially, when someone having a Ramadan fasting, 
I'm not a very um, uh, exaggerate with discussing the uh, the menu in the extra time. So this is really they really lost their pet. Woohoo! Oh. <laughs> Good news, dog! Yay! <laughs> Yeah, so uh, they will lose the fat mass. So uh, in 13 hours of fasting, of course, our body will deplete our glycogen. Glycogen mm -hmm. is a uh, glucose or stored in our body. Mm -hmm. So uh, when we are approaching the inner time, our body is very depleted in glucose. So one thing that we need to take in the inner time, first thing first, is the glucose. But better you take the glucose which comes naturally which right. is from food or maybe you can also the dairy product like yogurt I or see. maybe mm -hmm. uh, uh, milk yeah mm -hmm. so you will uh, replace the glucose depletion with the natural sugar which is will uh, increase your glucose level but not making the it's like you're drinking a syrup with water. <laughs> that, yeah, that's, that's right. Fucking not right. <laughs> no, but but you just so mentioned because uh, you just mentioned before that we can you know um, break down fats during yeah. fast time if if we do sour and iftar right. Now, what are yeah. the foods and drinks that we should avoid when we're actually eating um, iftar or sour during Ramadan? Okay, so first of all, for, uh, for sour, better you avoid drinking coffee because coffee uh, has the caffeine that will make uh, our body um, uh, passing urine a lot uh, during the day. Mm. So it will uh, risk you of the dehydration. Okay, mm -hmm. and then the second one, you also need to uh, avoid salty food because salty food will drive you to uh, increase your thirstiness and then uh, you will, yeah, so you will uh, have a risk in dehydration mm -hmm. as well. Yeah? And then the third one is the fatty food, because the fat food will be uh, in your stomach for a longer time. So sometimes it will make you feel bloated, nauseous, oh. digestion. Yeah? And in the Easter time, you can also still have a sugary food. but just in a limited amount. Just choose one of the uh, food that uh, has a high sugar, and then after that, you need to move into your um, main meal. Yeah, so only choose one uh, food or one uh, dish, and then you need to move to the main meal. Oh, that was for the F-tar. Oh, for the yeah, for the iftar. Yeah, for okay. iftar. All right. So yeah. you already told us, you know, the best and, and the best menu, especially for iftar. Uh, and also for sore, mm -hmm. but yeah, you know, and Doc, uh, sometimes people always say, you know, we love the Ramadan because we will lose some weight. But we also some, you know, find some cases where it's actually, it's different. The way it's around. The way, yeah. yeah. They actually gain weight. Why do you think yeah. that is? Yeah. Is it because, you know, during the iftar, you know, they can eat whatever they want, those greasy, delicious fritter. I'm <laughs> saying delicious because they are delicious, they are delicious, stating the fact, but it is not healthy. So how can we maintain our healthy diet during Ramadan then, Doc? Okay. So... Uh, actually, to maintain uh, our healthy diet during Ramadan, first we need to always remember that after fasting, we don't need to do fisting. Yeah? <laughs> so just eat normally. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> so just eat normally. Sometimes uh, it's very uh, it's very common that we have a lot of food with high sugar, high fat, mm -hmm. but yeah. Back to uh, our um, back to our principle that uh, we can choose only one, and then we can to, we can move to another main meal which is a more healthier. Mm. So um, yeah, a meal planning is a very important uh, in Ramadan uh, uh, in Ramadan time. Yeah, because if you don't have the meal planning, it will make us to eat all of the food that is. <laughs> In the, in the table, right? 
Yeah, and you know, right yeah. here on the morning show, we deliver some culinary right in the morning. Right in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, just out of curiosity, just to follow up on that question, though, uh, what are the nutrients that we have to focus mm. on um, in regards to uh, sour and also uh, iftar? Because, you know, we, we, some of us like, you know, fatty food or, or like high proteins yeah. and, and uh, fibers and how, how much of the portions do we actually need it to just stay in a good balance? And perhaps, you know, lose some fat in the, in the get-go in the way. Yes, the please. In one solution. <laughs> okay. okay. So if you look, um, uh, like the, uh, okay. So if you want to know about the carbohydrate or protein requirement for our body to be with you, uh, we can uh, follow the recommendation about the, the percentage of the macronutrients. Mm -hmm. So commonly we eat the carbohydrate for 50% of the total uh, calorie intake and the protein about 15 to, 15 to 20%. But if it's too difficult, we can use our uh, hands to make a measurement. Such as uh, for the crisis, we can use it for our intake of uh, pasta, rice, and bread. Mm. Okay. Okay. So in the size of the crisis. Okay. The size of okay. a fist. And then, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then for the palm, this is the size for our uh, protein intake. Meat, fish, or chicken. Okay. Yeah. So when we put into our plate, yeah, so the portion of the carbohydrate and the protein is like one uh, one one in the ratio one uh, 50 50. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So it's the ratio of 50 50 for the carbohydrate and the protein. Okay. So the quarter of the carbohydrate and the quarter of the protein and the half of the plate should be uh, followed with the vegetables and fruit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, is this mm -hmm. only for regarding during Ramadan month or is this actually what we should do every day, Doc? Is there any change no. out? No. No, it should be every day. But uh, the, the need that we need to emphasize during Ramadan, mm -hmm. especially in Kippur, yes. is the fiber intake. Because right, right. commonly right. we achieve our fiber intake in Ramadan uh, right. time. Because sometimes when mm -hmm. we eat our, with, uh, not on Ramadan month, we eat regularly three times a day, breakfast, yeah. lunch, and dinner. Yeah. Now, because of Ramadan, we only eat two times, and that'll be sore and iftar. So that yeah. is still, you know, the same uh, systematic then, uh, Doc, with what you said with mm -hmm. the portion itself. And you know, some people, Higher like fiber. myself, um, this is regarding my, my own situation, Doc. Sometimes I, after mm -hmm. I break the fast during iftar, I don't feel the mm -hmm. need of eating, you know, um, dinner anymore yeah. because... I already mm. felt so full and it's just so hard for me <laughs> to eat again. And in my mind, I'm pretty sure some, you know, some our viewers have similar opinions that, okay, if I don't have dinner, then I'm going to cut off, mm. you know, my weight because I don't, you know, I don't eat dinner. Is, but I'm pretty sure I want to ask you as an expertise, is this even healthy or not, Doc? No. Mm, okay. <laughs> and, the, and, the, and the common, uh, the common cause of that uh, condition mm -hmm. is because when you start, Sometimes people choose uh, a lot of food, right. yeah, a lot of uh, fat gel, yeah. Yes. Yeah. which is sometimes it's not very healthy, which is high in sugar, and something which is, has a high sugar will make uh, our body feel full, but in temporary only. I see. All right. So that's why in a couple of hours, at like 10 or 11, You're I feel hungry again. again. I'm like, why am I hungry? Because I thought no, I'm already okay. full. <laughs> So that's why you said, Doc. And uh, when you are hungry, and yeah. uh, when you feel uh, hungry at that time, you tend to choose a simple form of a dish that oh, is right. not with, yeah. uh, it's not uh, enough with the uh, fiber and protein. Right, something that's fast, and you know we can just eat it right away because you want to go to sleep after that. So, so again, uh, you know, you were saying previously, Doc, your iftar. Uh, glucose, high in glucose, but in natural ways. Some fruits um, mm -hmm. will do you good, or um, even, even normal tajil is okay, mm -hmm. but you should you need the meal according to yeah. doctor. So yeah. not too much on the tajil. Right. You need the meal. Right. I mean, but sometimes we Indonesian we have more of the tajil than you know the, the dinner after <laughs> that. Is that. True. So then we just have to remind that is all true. of you. 
what is right to do? Mm -hmm. I mean, maybe something that you're not common with, but this is the right thing to do. Yeah. Yeah. So, Doctor, mm -hmm. before we end the conversation, we actually have a this and that game for you prepared. <laughs> yeah. Because we do want great information from you. So, who, who knows? Maybe you can pick out what's good or better. Right. Yes. I'll start. I'll start. All right. So, warm water or lemon-infused water? Warm water. Peanut butter or almond butter, Doc? Almond butter. Go All right. Uh, then we have dried fruit or fresh fruit? Fresh fruit, of course. All right. Uh. Break iftar with something sweet or something filling, Doc? Something sweet. <laughs> okay. True or false? Date fruits help to curb the appetite. Uh, true. Oh. Yeah. That's yeah. good to know. <laughs> Kai is happy for that answer. Me too, Doc. Yeah, I am. <laughs> Thank you so much, Dr. Jualita Sarapsari. Thank you so much for being here with us. It has just been so much yep. fun and fruit, and you know, it's very Fruitful. enlightening to also to all of us to know what is good, what is better what to is do, better. and yeah. the truths and, and the facts also. Thank you so much, Doc. Hopefully, we're going to see you again You're very welcome. soon. Stay safe, stay Take healthy. Care. Thank you. Have a great okay, Monday. Bye. bye. bye.